the Pepsi Max Men's Fire B. Ryan Rossiter, Sienna Cowell. Um, I just want to start off by thanking the coaches in the league for uh, you know giving me the award. I really appreciate it. There's obviously four other great players that could have received it. Um, they all had tremendous seasons, and there's uh, a lot of guys that go unrecognized, unrecognized in the league that also had great seasons. So um, congratulations to them. I want to thank my coaches and my team for putting me in this position. Um, you know, it, it, even though it's an individual award, I think it's really a team award because without them, you know, I wouldn't be as successful and be put in the position that I am right now. Um, you know, thank you to the coaching staff for working so hard every day. And uh, you know, good luck to everyone this week in the tournament. How was your mindset going into this? Were you apprehensive? Were you doubtful? Were you confident? Um, you know, I, I re honestly didn't give it too much thought. Um, you know, my focus for the past week has been on Manhattan tomorrow night. And, uh, you know, if I win it, that's great. If not, so be it. So, um, you know, it doesn't change my mindset or my attitude going into tomorrow's game at all. Ryan, you, you mentioned following Kenny and Alex over your teammates and your friends. What does this mean to continue the program and tradition of winning this third year? Um, you know, it means a lot. It's just being the same set, mentioned the same sentence as Kenny and Alex. It's a great feeling, and just to uh, you know, bring the award to Sienna again is, is great. So, um, you know, I'm definitely happy about that. This award just doesn't go to a lot of kids who don't fit first or second to me. It doesn't mean to you that the coach is actually chosen you really important. Yeah, I think um, you know. I think the coaches uh, really appreciate what I do, you know, on the court, um, how I carry myself off the court, and um, you know, it's just kind of their way of showing me some gratitude. And uh, you know, I really appreciate that, and uh, you know, thankful to all of them. What have you had to do during the whole season just to keep yourself physically able to get on the court every night? Do you take it such a pounding every game? Um, you know, I'm, I'm in the training room all the time after games, uh, before practice, after practice, just getting uh, ice baths, trying to keep my body fresh. And, uh, you know, the, the main thing is just eating right and making sure I, uh, you know, I get enough rest throughout the day. What are your expectations for the team during this MAC tournament? Um, same as everyone else's. You know, our expectation is to win it. Um, you know, I'm sure if you talk to nine other teams, they tell you the same thing. So, uh, well, right now we got to take it one game at a time, and uh, you know, hold, don't think about Monday until you know you win Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Ryan, do you feel like the fire with this team kind of changed and it got there after that close door meeting after the St. Peter's game? Uh, yeah, I think so. I think um, you know we saw some things correct, and uh, you know we have to put together a full 40 minutes. But I think people understand that uh, you know at this point this is it. You can't have a bad game and then come in the locker room and say, "Oh, we got it next time." You know, it's it's we need to go home. Right. Uh, individual accolades uh, have always been put on the back burner. What does this one though mean to you? Um, you know, it definitely means a lot. I'm definitely proud of it. Um, you know, I've worked for it, but uh, you know, the the main thing I want to do this weekend is come home with a championship, and uh, you know, that's going to be my focus.